All right, guys, as you can see, I had a load of skids delivered that, well, I didn't have them delivered to the guy. He wanted to get rid of them. He's a friend, so they cleaned them up. But I think before I cut them up, I think I'm going to get a hold of the scrapyard that buys them and see if they're interested in uh, any of the ones that are good, that aren't broke up. And maybe I can sell some of them off and load them up in one truckload and get rid of them. So we'll see what happens. Like, some of them won't be any good for that, but I'll just cut them up. But, well, I had this, you know, where you could see where I pushed it up, but it's gone now. So, I'm going to, uh, and he's got another load, he said. Yeah, so, if I don't get this cut up, cleaned up, the other load's going to go on the other side of this. There's a road on the other side of this pile here. I'll have it dumped in there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go through them. I'm going to give him a call. Give the scrapyard a call on Monday. And uh, this is Friday, guys. And this was delivered when I wasn't here, taking my load to my load of batteries and get rid of them. Uh, he texted me and he said, you know, and I said, sure, just drop them off by the, the furnace because I can just cut them up. And I mean, this will fill up. This will give me quite a stack when I'm done, which is good. I get a couple of these. I won't have to worry about hauling any. And then if he's got any more, he'll bring them out to me. So delivered. Yeah, beat it. I don't have to handle them other than if I want to load them back up and sell them. Some of them I might keep like the ones with the decks on them. These would be good for uh, piling stuff on outside. So I might uh, keep these for batteries. Because the one I had, the little one I had, I filled it when I was moving on to another one. And I didn't have another one. So I might keep that one for that. I mean, even the, the green ones. But the green ones I could turn around and sell them ones, I think, because they're the right size. So we'll see. We'll see what they're interested in or not. But anyhow, I just want to show you guys this was one load that came in. All right, guys, I had another pickup, as you can see. It is Sunday. Um, I guess it's like a head trimmer. Somebody dismantled, as you can see. I am home, guys, as you can see, I'm at home. Uh, washer to pick up. So I picked it up, and I'll probably clean it on the spot and get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of some more scrap and steel this week. So I'm thinking most of this pile here, I don't know how I'm going to load it yet. I'm thinking probably trailer. Depends on how I feel. We'll see. Uh... The other thing is, I got a price for motors. I can't even remember what they said. I think it was like 18 cents a pound. And that's not even that's not even a quarter of the motors, guys, in there. So, I don't know. Um, brass, I'm getting, I think I was quoted. Uh, what am I going to it? Dollar eighty five. Lots of uh, good wire to be peeled for the wire peeler. And motors, oh yeah, look, another pile in there too, underneath that dolly. There's the other pile there from there, and there's more copper in there, underneath there too. Which I haven't got to yet, obviously. Um, these pails here, they just got a hodgepodge of stuff in with the rain. As you can hear, we are getting some uh, thunder. And I'm thinking, this is my brass. So it's probably going to go. But it measured it, what we uh, weighed it, and it was, what, 25 pounds with the bucket. So two pounds or so for the bucket off maybe three pounds so about 22 pounds at a dollar 85 or a dollar 84 whatever it was something like that so i'll just finish cutting the copper off it because there's still copper on them i think there's one with copper on it so i'll finish cleaning it up and then just get rid of it sell it fresh in because uh, that i don't want to melt down because it's got too many chemicals in it it's got all that oil and stuff in it so i'm just going to sell it as it is get rid of it um, what else am I going to get rid of? The rads aren't done yet. I uh, still got a few more air conditioners to go. Uh, I got to finish cleaning these motors. I got one there that's got to be finished. That one's already cleaned. Good enough that it can go as an electric motor. That's if I get rid of the motors at the price they're at. And these ones all got to be cleaned here yet. Uh, this one here is going to be cleaned yet. It's got a motor in it. And then, of course, all the small stuff in here, wires and stuff. And there's some brass on these two. And then this pile of steel. Just steel. And then, oh yeah, I got what? One, two. Oh yeah, there's two more motors there. Another compressor. Compressor. Two more over there. So I'll probably get rid of the compressors too while I'm at it. More rads. Air conditioner got to clean. I got one over there. And then one up there I still haven't done, guys. So I've got these three here to do yet. So, not sure when I'm going to get to them. With the pickups again, I got more pickups to do tomorrow. Which is Monday. Uh, 
it's been pretty much non-stop for pickups guys but i don't i'm not going to complain because you know what it's going to slow down oh yeah my bag of beer cans that i have not counted yet to see what's in it i will include it in a video though when i do count them i think that's it for now i got a i've had a wicked headache for about four days guys so i guess we'd call a migraine i've got a bit of migraine and it doesn't want to seem to light up i don't know what it is it has been killing me but uh I'm going to try and get rid of this pile here before winter. One of the piles to go. And i got to get the filing cabinet put away. i got to clean this up in here anyhow. So i got to get, the, get going at it. Uh, we are going to do <clears throat> another pile or two this week. I see there's another motor there. I'm going to get that barrel or that garbage can emptied out. So I'm going to take it and dump it along with the steel. Now this is my big heavy. See my big magnet guys? Big heavy one. It don't want to come off. See how heavy that is? Thick. It's a good heavy magnet. I can't even get it off the nail, but it's off. It don't want to come off too well. More copper there and stuff. <clears throat> Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.